Just a second, bag. I suppose we could try and go out there and ninja him real quick. That could be a dumb thing to do, though. He says as he runs out to do it. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is the Insane Nightmare series, and I'm the Bearded OG, and it's Horde Night. Yes, indeed. So, um, I have four uh, hatches set up in this little hatch tunnel here, and then I have two more set up over here in case there's a breach on this side of the base. And then if it looks like we're going to get overrun, then we can jump up here, head up top side, and... I have myself a little vulture cage here, and then we can just shoot down on the horde from there. So that is our horde night base for horde seven. Uh, right before I uh, started uh, this recording, I went out and just gathered a bunch of stuff. I, I, I wanted to go hunting, but I didn't see a single animal, but I did get a bunch of feathers and eggs. And I went back over to uh, this little farm area right here and gathered up a bunch of corn. So I made some roasted corn. Most um, I ate a couple of those and then the rest are back at the base. Wasn't any pigs over there, but there is a uh, look to be a wolf inside of the shed, but I didn't mess with it. And uh, I also found a Blackstrap coffee magazine and another um, harvesting tools magazine. Okay, so... Um, in my inventory, I have 174 iron arrows and then a few stone arrows and the ability to make more stone arrows if needed. And we've got some fort bites. We've got some honey sewing kits, one thing of vitamins, um, a cast, and some steroids. The only thing I don't have medical-wise is a pain pill in case we get a concussion. Hopefully that doesn't happen. And yeah, so here we go. Horde Night 7. We'll see how this goes. I have uh, the Zoms set to 32 uh, just because, you know, so we don't have crazy frame rate issues. And let's see what happens here. Skip leads on everybody. Stamina is a problem. Okay. Oh, she got through. Hey, that's cheating, lady. Alright. Um, I do have 81 iron ingots in my inventory for keeping things repaired. As far as I can tell, most of them seem to be coming to this opening. Everybody gets a bleed. You get a bleed, and you get a bleed, and you get a bleed. Oh, hungry and thirsty. All right, let's eat our last bacon and eggs. Well, I guess I said I was really thirsty more than hungry, but that's right. We need some healing anyway, so... Can I put, um, I made some torches here. Put one up so we have a little more light. That might be a good idea. And let's also light these mofos up. Since we have uh, some molotovs here. I did uh, get another point and I put that in pistols like I mentioned in the last episode. And we're about ready to get the next level. And I think I'll put that into Iron Gut. Get these bleeds to work for us here. Ow. 
All right, we better check the. Oh yeah, <laughs> that one was uh, getting down, wasn't it? All right, let's light him up again. Uh, hopefully that doesn't catch me on fire. Oh shit, it did. God damn it. I didn't think it would, but I was wrong. Are you dead? I guess so. Um, this is not good. That thing's about ready to break. I don't have any concrete to fix it. So we'll have to probably retreat to the next, uh, next level, but that's fine. That's what, that's what this is for. Okay, let's put the next hatch up. Okay, let's be a little more careful this time. I'm not getting too close. Can we get all the way up here? Yeah, we can. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Uh, let's let's go ahead and take a bandage just to top off our health a bit here. Uh, you know what we could actually do is do this. Don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. All right, cool. Let's um repair these hatches. I hear a bunch of Zeeks over that way. I wonder if they're trying to break through the door a bit. If they do then yeah see they're trying to get through those doors that does not surprise me the zombies always tend to try and get through doors in this game um so i guess what that means then is we'll have to fight them in here what we might be able to do is make another thing here um I don't know how I would get one up here unless we go out really quick and do that. Those doors are pretty tough, but that doesn't mean they won't eventually break through them. They have like 3,000 hit points or something like that. All right, let's make a couple more hatches. A wood hatch and an iron hatch to upgrade it. And we want to turn it that way. Okay. So we're just uh, adjusting to the situation. We'll put a torch there so we can see. And then we just have to wait for this iron one to finish before we can do the upgrade. They may not. I mean, it looks like they are hitting it, so they'll probably eventually break through. Get that upgraded there. Come on, I want some XP. Oh, I guess we did level. All right, let's put that level into uh, Iron Gut. Not only does that make us not, you know, get hungry quite as much, but um, probably almost more importantly, we don't lose as much food and water from exertion, so it's pretty useful. Oh, shit! Oh, this isn't good. They're attacking the weakest spot. Well, it's smart, smart for them to do. Let's get these this area here upgraded. All right, and then what we will do is hop up here and yep. I just have to get a little bit closer. I heard gla I'm hearing glass breaking. I'm trying to break through here too. 
Okay, let's get that reinforced. And burn those mofos. Nobody's coming that way. Oh, yeah, let's get this upgraded now. And they're trying to get through over here. All right, Edgar. Knife sandwich for you. <laughs> I don't know if you liked my sandwich or not. Those guys are still not through over there. All right, well, let's just lift all of those. Up. Oh, here we go. Now we got some action. All right, well, it's just a little after 1 a.m. And uh, so far, so good. I don't want to speak too soon, but... Edgar, come to join the party. Get some bleeds on you, buddy. Oops. Nice. Let's grab that real quick. What do we get? 349 cash and uh, traps. Nice. We will take that. Okay, so... They're trying to break through over here, but there's a double layer over here, so I'm not really too worried about that. Um, oh, actually, now it's now it's 1 a.m. It was 12 a.m. before. So far, so good. Here comes Jiggly. Come on, Jiggles. You're gonna need some dental work after that. Actually, I think you have bigger problems than dental work. You know what? Let's get this shit out of here so that way we can repair if they do break through to this side. Is this, uh... Yeah, let's get that upgraded, too. Okay, everybody... Everywhere else? It looks like it. Okay. I'm getting uh, pretty low on cobblestone, so I need to be a little more conservative with it. Does the horde just keep coming now, or do they eventually fizzle out on the in the early game? I don't remember. They You used to get a wave of them, and then you'd be done for the night, but I don't know if they if they continue coming now or not. But, uh, you know, these guys are obviously fixated over here. And uh, I'm not inclined to go out and try and grab them. But because I don't hear any more horde anywhere else besides whatever's going on over here, I'm starting to think maybe that's the last of them. Not sure. Uh, okay, so they're starting to try and break through there. And we need to get this all upgraded. I guess that's... I guess that's painted wood. Interesting. Well, here, let's, um, yeah, that is painted wood. Okay. Um, do I have enough to, yeah, we got enough to get all this upgraded. This is a thousand hit points, so we can keep that in place and fight them that way. Let's break this.
Nice, dropped another bag. When they first came out with 1.0, uh, the bags would disappear really fast, but I think they fixed that so that doesn't happen now. So hopefully that bag will be there by the time we're done. Off with your head. Now it looks like more are coming, so maybe we do get them for the whole night. All right, Edgar's down. They haven't broken through that door. Well, they're about ready to, though. It's looks like it's uh, on its last leg there. There we go. We got another skill point. I have to decide what to put that in. Um, actually, I, I know where I'm going to put it in. We're going to put it into... Dead. Uh, we already did that. I okay. Hmm. We could do lucky. We could do salvage. Those would be a couple of good ones to do. Penetrator is never a bad choice. Uh. We're eventually going to be doing shoddy, so we could do boomstick. How come you're not attacking me, Arlene? We'll eventually want to put some points into lockpicking, because without points in lockpicking, man, lockpicking sucks. These Zeeks are kind of acting weird, like they're not really attacking the blocks now. They're just kind of derping. Hit something, Arlene. What's the matter with you? Well, there's all kinds of shit of matter with you, but you know what I mean. <laughs> More are coming. Okay, so I think that answers that question. We don't, we don't get, uh, uh, we don't finish early. They get, they keep coming in for the whole night, but they have definitely, you know, trickled down to just a few. Okay, he's attacking. Did we get them both? Looks like we did. Okay. So this horde base is working out pretty good. I think we'll probably do it on horde 14 too. I'll just shore it up some more. Because uh, we never, you know, I, I mean, I guess the horde night's not over yet, but we never had to retreat up upstairs, so. It's possible that we'll have concrete by 14. We'll just see how it goes. That's the second bag. Man, I hope those bags stay out there until morning. I suppose we could try and go out there and ninja them real quick. That could be a dumb thing to do, though. He says as he runs out to do it. Yeah, that other bag unfortunately disappeared. We got a couple of seeds. That's that's good. And uh, whatever else we got out of that. I didn't see what that text said, but we got the next level of whatever the seeds are. Ronald McDonald. Off with your head, Skinny Pete. That was awesome. Alright, let's just touch these up here. I hear Zeke's banging on something further out. Probably... 
Well, no, I think I'll leave that just exactly the way it is, but let's get this one upgraded. So, yeah, this base has turned out to be a pretty good deal for us. I don't know where the rest of... Oh, there's another bag here. Nice. Awesome. Tactical warfare. So it sounds like some of them are maybe stuck over in the oil company? I wonder if they, like, spawned over there. Interesting. They must have, like, spawned maybe inside of the oil tank. I hear some banging over that direction, too, though. There's a deer. Oh, man. I don't know. I I need meat. Like, I'm completely out of meat, but... That's too damn risky. Hopefully that deer will be around in the morning. Because even if I killed it now, you know, then the zombies would... Would go eat it. There's two deer. Oh, awesome. Okay, deer, stick around, please. Don't go anywhere. We'll talk in the morning. With my hunting rifle. I'll send a 762 your way. It's funny, man. I like spent hours, in-game hours, looking for deer. Didn't find a single one, and now there's two deer right there after the horde night. Okay, there's some, some Zeeks over there. They're trying to get over here near to me. As soon as they break through, we'll retreat back into our cubby. But all in all, a pretty successful horde then, I'd say. Oh, we got uh, two tactical warfares. Machine guns, pipe. Okay, we can make a quality two pipe machine gun. We may actually do that. We'll see. And I really hope those deer stick around. And we survived the night. Challenge, survive one blood moon is complete. Beautiful. We get 2,000 XP for that. That's a nice little chunk of XP. Okay. So these guys are still... doing their thing. Um, so somebody's banging over there, but where are those deer? Oh, right there. I see them. Okay. There's one right there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really? All right, let's wait for it to raise its head. Oh, there's some meat. I got tons and tons of eggs. Let's go kill these guys. Y'all missed the party. What the hell, man? Hey, another bag. Nice. I think that's it. All right, nice. We survived the horde night, ladies and gentlemen. And they dropped a bag, so. Uh, well, there's a sleeper right there. Can I reach that bag from here? No. -uh. All right, well, let's let's just kill this guy too. Why not? I guess we one-shotted him. All right. Handyland. Nice. Repair tool crafting. We'll take it. We got a coffee and some 9 millimeters. Ooh, and we can make the claw hammer now. Fantastic. Here, let's, uh, let's loot that. I think there's zombos up in this oil tank.
All right, guys, that is it for Horde Night 7. Uh, is that other deer out here or close by? Let's see if we can spot. Yep, yeah, there it is right there. Beautiful. Make ourselves some bacon and eggs for breakfast. Fantastic. Blood moon deer. That's what this is. All right, guys. I think this is probably a good place as any to uh, end the episode. So uh, in tomorrow's episode, we will go out and just continue. Oh, uh, continue doing the uh, jobs for wrecked and advancing. Uh, the plan will be for Horde 14 to use that base again. And then after that, we may, yeah, I mean, it depends upon, you know, how far along we are, but I'd like to, uh, I'd like to loot this whole town if we can, before we, before we leave it and then look for a more permanent location. So that is the plan. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.